So if you want to be a part of that, all the details are going to be down below, okay? I would love for you to be a part of it. You don't have to have any, like, professional equipment or anything. Um, so yeah, so visit the description box, okay, for all the details. So we'll go ahead and get started. I have all of them on my iPad, so I'm going to be reading from my iPad. There's no judgment here. Um, just going to be reading them to you and reacting. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for added relaxation, I am going to just tap on this as I read, okay? Also, I'm so sorry for, like, my ghetto fab background. I'm in one of my spare rooms, and I didn't put my backdrop up so you can see my cat's house. The exercise bike I should be using more, and, like, a dresser and my makeup stuff. Um, this is, like, my office for the time being as well. Alrighty, let's get started. So, the first one is Juicy. I hooked up with my best friend, and we both kept it a secret, and now we never talk. That's a hard one. I think it's really hard when you're friends with someone to cross that line, because it could get awkward, and one could, person could catch feelings, or, you know, both, or... Sometimes you can save the friendship, but sometimes you can't. It's just the reality of it, so I'm sorry. I tell people online that I'm from the UK when I'm actually from the US. <laughs> so I feel like we've all done that, at least in like the day of like AIM and like instant messenger. strict and I've had a secret boyfriend 
for around four years now. I'm moving out next and we can finally be together without the lies. So, you know, it happens sometimes, especially when you're like underage and your parents are strict, like who hasn't snuck around and had a boyfriend or like dated someone they weren't supposed to as long as everyone is of, you know, appropriate age, like, you know, that person is not, oh, you know, older than you to the sense that it's like illegal to be with you. Um, and depending on your situation for moving out and it, like, if you're of legal age to move out, you're gonna love who you love and, you know, that's just it. And your parents, they'll come around. I used to steal $20 from my sister every week. That's great. I used to like take my parents' change. That's pretty much it, like from the cars and stuff. I know sometimes they would get so mad. <laughs> Especially if they were like saving it for something. Like sometimes you save your quarters for something, like, you know, like to help you pay for food or whatever. I don't know if this is a white lie, but fake glasses and act like I can't see well. A white lie I tell is I aced a test, but I actually didn't. A white lie I have told is I aced a test, but I really didn't. So the glasses thing, I, I can get that glasses are, you know, can be a form of fashion. And then the test thing, I've done that before, like I've had people be like, oh, I did so well, and then like, I really didn't, but I didn't want to feel let down, and they asked me like, oh, what'd you get? Like, if you don't give that information out, you should never ask someone. Like, I'm not telling you for a reason. I'm not offering that information to you for a reason. Like, why are you asking me? Okay. My boyfriend once told me that his dad had a son with another woman that wasn't his mom. That's tough. I don't know, I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I mean, it's not your place, but that's like a lot to know. Especially if you're close to his mom. Best friend cheated on her boyfriend and she told him that she was with me so I lied and said that she was with me I mean you're gonna have your friends back right there's TikToks on this for the most part everybody sticks up for their friend
desk. So I went to a corner of the glass and I was trying to hold it in, but I couldn't. So I peed and then I spilled water on the pee to cover it. I'm still embarrassed to this day. <sighs> That's so funny. I mean, it's common. When I was in third grade, some girl peed on her chair. squad did you not have to do that did you have to just you know whip it out into your business like how did you get away with nobody noticing next one i threw up in ikea in an ikea once and everyone had to evacuate the entire kitchen section and i oop <laughs> see that's 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 one that you're like oh my god i'm keeping a secret because I literally am so mortified but it's a bodily function so like it happens you know so that's it for this video